the Lamborghini Temerario has been announced and it's the replacement for a car that sold almost 30,000 units, the Lamborghini Huracan. Um, that car we saw develop over several years. There were several iterations and we've just been introduced to the first iteration of its replacement, the Temerario. What I'm gonna do today is just quickly go through the car with you and then um, spec one up because I am interested in this car. I do have a Rewelto at the moment. There are very uh, many similarities between the two cars, but there are a few differences that I think might make this car the one to get. I love these um, LED DRL lights um, down at the bottom section of the car. When they first uh, showed you know, the prototypes testing, they were all camouflaged up. You could see the DRL and I wasn't sure, but I feel like they've implemented it very very well um the headlight implementation as well looks very aggressive almost looks like an animal getting ready to attack um i love it i think the design's really nice it hasn't got the overhanging bonnet that we see on the Rewelto and then we also see on the urus se but instead it has this traditional um more like a hurricane style uh bonnet new rim design something we've come to expect down along the side this is giving me mclaren vibe and i've noticed as well unlike the Rewelto that charges under the front bonnet this car also has a charger on the other side so then you don't have to open the front bonnet to charge it basically which is nice but i feel like they should have debuted this car in a bright color you know it's a lamborghini you want to see something aggressive something loud anytime any new cars announced there's always people that prefer the old version even when the urus was announced people didn't really like the design and it's really grown on people now uh, they've taken out the v10 now and they've replaced it with a twin turbocharged v8 um, flat pane engine that's been developed in-house by lamborghini um, it revs to 10,000 rpm 10,000 rpm from a turbocharged uh, v8 1690 kg dry so it's not as heavy as the revolta it's got almost as much power so i feel like this may be faster the interior is very Rivalto. i like the Rivalto interior i know it's very polarizing people say this is very mclaren-esque it's simple but um that's the car um i think it looks really nice again it's been really polarizing and obviously everything new is polarizing but I think it I think it looks gorgeous. Let's get to configurating one now and um uh let's see how I am going to spec my car uh, that I plan to get. Oh, I'm receiving a call. I kid you not, as I was recording this video, my Lamborghini de dealer called me and he said uh, I was calling to get some car details off you because I know you want one. But oh look, and the first thing on my Instagram is uh Lamborghini uh, Dutch account. So I'm in the configurator now and uh, we're going to start with this basic spec. I like to start basic because it just gives you a uh, space to like imagine and to picture. Uh, I usually do color first. Uh, there's so many colors with Lamborghini so I'm not exactly sure which color uh, we are going to go for yet because it'll be uh, my wife myself driving this car. She doesn't really drive the well too much at the moment. Um, so I want to make sure it's a spec that she would like. She likes darker colors. I like bright colors. She does like the occasional bright color, but when it's a car she's driving, she likes it to be a bit more low key. Verde Mantis is the color of our SVJ, um, which is a very, very, very green green. It's got pearlescent flakes in it. It looks nothing like this in real life. Uh, this, so this uh, configurator is showing colors in a very weird way. Let's try something a bit different uh viola pacifay so it's like kind of like the paint on the urus but without the flip of the blue in it uh a traditional lamborghini color looks beautiful i think that would be great to uh, configure the car in you have the um the more military colors this one's called verde gia uh really really nice color again verde scandal uh one of my friends just picked up an urus performante in this color it's like highlighter green it looks incredible um i love viola galaxias it's a more dark uh purple more subtle purple i feel like in uh real life it'll look a lot uh a lot better it used to have a different name i'm not sure yeah i wonder why they changed the name um viola lithia very dark purple but it's still quite a bright color especially when the sun hits it so just picture it in kind of this color if i'm talking about this um but Hey, hey, we're configuring it. I want you to be able to see what I'm doing uh, whilst I'm putting the parts on the car. And then after that, I will change the color. So um, shall we start with a very, very Lamborghini color? Let, let's start with, you know what, let's just, let's start with uh, white at the moment. And from there, I'll put all the parts on the car and then we'll pick a color when it's looking like the spec I want. And these wheels look horrid. Um, you get, get you can get carbon wheels now for the first time on a Lamborghini. Uh, I don't recommend carbon wheels. They're very, uh, not fragile, but 
they don't like shocks um, going through them. So potholes and things. I live in the UK. There's a lot of those. So uh, you would have to replace it. You can't refurb them. You would have to replace this whole wheel. And something tells me that they are very expensive. So what I'm going to go with is uh, this wheel here. You can get a diamond cut shiny black. It's called Velador. Um, and very nice. We're very intricate. I'm going to put it in gold. I think for now, because I have an idea of the spec I want already. How how have I been here saying it needs to be a bright color and I'm here configuring a, well, this looks cool though, and I'm configuring a white, let's start with the orange. Um, wheels, again, those other wheels, not these ones. So I'm gonna go with these ones. For now, diamond cut shiny black um, tires. There's several different tires you can choose from now. On the configurator, there's only two, so Potenza Sport and Potenza Race, but there's also the um, winter tire and a run flat tire. I I've changed my mind again. Let's go to purple and start with purple. I love purple. Brilliant. Get, that's given Tommy spec. Roof, uh, we want the roof in shiny black. I think Lamborghinis always look nicer with a black roof. It just, I think that looks cool. Um, hopefully it's not just me, but this pack uh, is basically a lightweight in pack. It removes 25 kg from the gross weight of the car. Um, it also has more than 25 kg and 67% uh, increased efficiency in downforce. So I'm going to put the Allegiorita package, shiny carbon, high gloss black. Uh, let's go in shiny, adds this like bronze edge around uh, the A pillar and on the lowest section of the car. Carbon details, um, let's get some carbon mirrors and shiny bases. Nice. Oh, yeah, carbon mirrors look nice. Air scoop in carbon look shiny and door liner and shiny black what does that mean carbon look so not real carbon okay. logo i'll leave the logo in this silver color tailpipes in matte black yes please but uh, oh god that this color does not get its justice done on here so let's change it to this viola galaxias color let's see what this looks like so this is actually a brighter color in real life. this looks stunning this looks stunning this is a brighter color in real life wow I really wanted to go like British racing green, but they don't have that on the configurator. So it would be hard to show you. What do you guys think? Which color should I go for? There's reds, there's, oh, I wouldn't put red on a Lambo. Uh, I don't mind this color. I'll leave it like this for now. You guys in the comments, let me know if this is the right color to go for. Let's get on into the interior where um, you can get really excited in here. I do like myself a white interior. I do like a white interior. White interiors just say something to me. So that looks pretty sick. Um, that looks quite good. Seats, I would probably do sports seats. They'll look a bit more aggressive. And this is, you know, a drifty kind of car. I've got the Rualto with the comfort seats. So I could do my long distance stuff in the Rualto. Um, so yeah, I think these sporty seats add a little bit of pizzazz to the interior. So back, uh, additional upholstery, Corsa Tech steering wheel, why not? Uh, carbon on the interior. Oh, there's a lot of carbon options. Let's just go all carbon interior like the Rualto. Um, everything just carbon, matte carbon, which is nice. I hate gloss carbon on interiors. I think it looks so cheap. Uh, so yeah, carbon there, carbon here, carbon there, carbon on the steering wheel column. Steering wheel column is not needed. Let me take that off. I feel like that's just going to be expensive for no reason. I like it. What do you guys think? You know, you can just go like stupid colors, stupid stupid contrasts in here i'm not trying to get too stupid right now uh i, I think that, i think that cheapens it a bit so i'm going to go back to the white one what do you guys think again um i'm going to not lock this in just yet i think i like the white interior let's look at equipment i don't know why i said it like that this looks nice with a white interior i like this i like it a lot it makes it look really dark just remember it's more this purple than that purple that they're showing you there this is what it looks like this is very dark. Um, suspension lift, you need that. Full assistance package, you need that. So I don't need to uh, tick surround assistance package. So this comes with adaptive cruise control, uh, adaptive lane keeping assist, emergency assist, safety distance warning, turn assist, avoidance warning, pre-sense. So um, everything here, I believe it comes in. A Lamborghini a vision pack, a connect vehicle tracking system. That's basically a tracker you need it for insurance in the UK. Five years warranty, no, I probably wouldn't keep it five years. Toolkit, tire breakdown kit. I think, is that it? Is that it? Is that is this the car? Let's see, your car. Oh, this is it. This is the car. I wonder how much this would be. I like this color. I like how it looks. 
maybe a brighter color. Let me quickly go back and do a brighter color and then we can compare, it's just very yellow. I'll try blue Cethus. I'll change uh, the brakes and stuff if I'm going to change the color car. I'd like this color. I'm not mad at the orange. I'd probably end up wrapping this car anyway. I always do that anyway. I am very much struggling. So um, guys and gals, if you can give me a suggestion on colors, uh, I'll probably just follow this up on my TikTok. This car, I feel, will be faster than the Rewalter there, but we'd have to wait and see. Yeah, I do like it. I'm not sure on the color. Just remember, it's a bright color, like-ish, kind of. Anyway, that's the video. Hope you enjoyed. I'll catch you later. Let me know what you uh, think about this. Remember to like and subscribe. Hope I haven't bored you. Have a nice day. Nice weekend. Nice evening. Nice week. I'm not sure when you're watching the video. Mwah. I love you all.